What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So there's a lot of different ways to learn SketchUp. You might be more of like a YouTube person. You might like online courses. But a lot of people, myself included, definitely like having like book references um, in order to flip through, in order to have the information that we need without necessarily having to jump on the internet. So I thought what we'd do is we'd check out the new release um, of the SketchUp to Layout book from Matt Donnelly. So a lot of you probably already know Matt. He runs the website and YouTube channel, Master SketchUp. So Matt's channel is one of the main reasons I got into doing SketchUp on YouTube. He is one of the great trainers of SketchUp and Layout. He has a lot of great information. So if you're not subscribed to his channel, you should go over there and do that right now. I'll link to that in the notes down below. So a lot of you probably know that Matt has written a couple different books teaching how to use SketchUp and Layout, right? So the original that came out um, was the first Sketch up to lay out and that was something like six years ago or something like that so that was one of the first books that really got in depth on how to use layout um, is a fantastic reference guide for how everything worked in a time when there really weren't a whole lot of resources out there to show you how to use the program so he has since come out with another book with Nick Sonder um, the sketch up and layout for architecture which gets more in depth than like the actual workflow that's used to create um, construction drawings things like that from sketch up in layout um, so the books are kind of complex I would say that uh, probably sketch up to layout is a better beginner book um, It's gonna get more into the kind of nuts and bolts of how to use sketch up and that kind of thing Sketch up and layout for architecture is gonna get a little bit more into that actual workflow for creating plan sets So if you can get them both they're both great resources But that's kind of a split of what I would recommend to who but Matt just came out with the second edition of this book And what that means is he's basically gone through and first off he's added like hundred and fifty pages to this book so the overall book Book is something like looks like it's exactly 500 pages long nice work um, but the, the whole book is very detailed um, and what I really like about it is first of all he gets really in-depth right so the book is kind of more of a reference guide where if there's anything in here that you need to know about like perspective I just flipped to this page and he's got detailed instruction on how to use perspective um, he, he's got information about just about everything in this book so it's something that you can flip to something you can go find it um, so he's got like a massive appendix in the back so you can go find the topics that you're looking for. Um, so you can find that information in the book. So the book says sketch up to layout. So you might think that it's like completely a layout focus, but it's really not. He's actually added a ton of information inside of the book on how to actually like use SketchUp. So he's got information about the different tools, other things like that. So if you're looking for something, it's kind of like a complete guidebook, um, something that you can put on your bookshelf and like tangibly use. Um, this is a great book for that. One of the other things I like about this book is the number of illustrations that are in it. So what Matt's done is he's gone through and he's got a number of example illustrations. So pretty much everything is illustrated. And he's also got a bunch of like really cool pictures of SketchUp models um, to give you kind of an idea of what people are doing and how they're doing it. And so if you are interested in this book, I will link to it in the notes down below. Um, one thing to note about this is he does have the option to get the paperback and the ebook or just the ebook. So you can get the ebook if you just want to have it on your computer. Personally, I like having the physical book, being able to flip through it and look at all the different pictures and other things like that. Um, and again, he's just done a really great job of kind of updating this to have like the high resolution images and other things like that inside of the book itself. So just like to me, the extra $20 to have the paperback version is kind of a no brainer. Um, that's different for other people, but for me, I mean, it seems like it just makes sense. So if you're interested in it, I will link to this in the notes down below. Um, check out Matt's book. Also make sure that you go check out his YouTube channel. He's, he's a great resource for how to use SketchUp. So like I said, this is a great book if you're looking for a reference guide for SketchUp. I would say probably if I was to do top three books right now for SketchUp, I would say SketchUp to Layout, um, second edition, definitely. I would say the SketchUp, SketchUp and Layout for Architecture, and then probably Mike Brightman's book, The SketchUp Workflow for Architecture. Those are probably the best reference guides, at least that I've seen right now. So if you do want to look at those in the future, let me know. But this is going to be a great place to start learning SketchUp and Layout. So leave a comment below if you have any questions. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.